What is she doing? This is officially my third losing day in a row now. I still can't believe this trade, dude. This trade just set me up for a horrible week, man. Because again, if I would have made this trade, that's 160 points. I would be around break even on the week now. Now, of course, since I missed that trade by an actual point, it just fucked up the entire week. So this started off, we were down six, 66 points. Monday, though, amazingly, we caught one of my best trades of all time, bro. 100 points there. Um, never was a doubt. Literally wasn't drawdown for for literally never um caught 100 points which thankfully because without that i would have been really really bad um but then we came into tuesday took this trade we should have been up around almost 300 points on the week because this is just nothing you can do about that love to see it play out though um wednesday came around we took one more trade we were looking for longs got stopped out um then today we took another trade in the afternoon though on an eval 150 points though super nice um then today came around and we ended up taking another loss um, for 65 points. We were up around 50 for a minute, you can see right here, but just ended up coming down again, stopped out. We had a lot of AI bad news today, a lot of bearish money coming into the market. Big sell off, you know, on the four hour, bro, I think coming into the market, there was really not a red candle for, or a green candle for over like 24 hours. So that's not good. We tried to catch the bottom. I mean, I, I, you guys can see why I got into this trade, just targeted this low. Super important to hold, which, you know, it looks like we still are doing, but um, on the short term, we tried to catch the bottom. It didn't work out. Um, right now, next thing I will be doing is targeting this low for an entry for longs because I really do like longs right now. Look at how oversold we are. Of course, um, you know, this is something that's been overdue. If you look at the market on a bigger time frame, we are really overextended. And this is the pullback that we're looking for. Now the problem is, is trying to find the bottom of it is the real thing. So waiting for confirmation is something that I really recommend you do. Once we do find that low, I do plan on going long. I love longs the rest of the week. I love longs tomorrow. I still like longs right now. But of course, since I lost this trade already, I'm backing up from trading for the day. This new strategy has been so amazing. Even the losses that I've taken, like today, you can see when I was in this trade, we saw buying. We saw buyers come in and that's the number one thing we had to look for is because with supply and demand specifically, all you need to do is just verify your zones work. And you can see we did see some buying in this area we saw multiple bottom wicks over and over again inside of this zone and unfortunately it wasn't enough to get us through because you got to understand these supply and demand zones are important i they do work i believe in them and i trade off them pretty much solely at this point but what's going to happen is it obviously needs to see demand off of the zone so you know you need buyers in this case to step up and with the bearish news we had we had um i don't know if i can pull it up right now um we had some wall street stuff come up like you know someone mentioned ai oh my god and then the market exploded so basically now what's going to happen is we had that huge sell-off you know we're down almost 600 500 points on the day right now and you know the bearish sentiment just took control so these supply and demand zones are going to work let's say on a normal day of price action but in this case with this big news coming in um, that's going to trump any PA that's going to trump any setup. And, you know, I still tried for a setup. Um, I love the RR, you know, full TP would have been around 250 points, but I don't think I would have held for that long. Um, we saw the pop-up that we wanted. We were in this trade for, you know, 30 minutes or so, um, which is a good amount of time. So everything checked, everything was amazing, just didn't play out and that's okay. And, you know, trades like this, we take the perfect setup. We take everything exactly how we do, exactly how we back tested. And I'm never going to be mad about this trade ever. You know, we had everything going our way. We took a perfect trade. We have a great RR. Everything was perfect. It just didn't go our way. And that's just going to happen. You know, that's just part of the game. And you guys need to understand that. Don't get so, you know, tunnel visioned on your losses. It's okay. As long as you took a correct trade, you took a trade that checked all your boxes, exactly how you back tested it. You should have no problems ever, ever taking a trade like that and losing. This was another trade we took. I was trading off of a previous zone I had. Um, you guys can see. Let me go on a bigger time frame for you guys just to help identify this. But um, I was trading off of a Friday high. Uh, maybe the hourly was a little too much. Um, let's see. Um, where the heck are we? Okay. Yeah, you guys can see. I was trading off of this high right here. Um, I... On, I close it off because I, I changed those, but you can see we're trading off this high. Um, we were looking for longs above this just because um, basically, um, again, we we're trading off of this area right here. And, you know, we finally broke above that. And now this is going to turn into um, demand zone because that's how supply and demand zones work. Um, break the supply, turn into demand. And that's that's what I wanted to see. Big pop up break the resistance, come back down, look for a retracement back up. Um, and it was good RR. We took the trade, targeted this high right here. I think it was around 150 points. Um, let's see. Nope, it was only 100. But we took a good trade, good RR. Everything was checked. And it just, again, didn't work out. Totally fine. Bearish sentiment took control. And you guys can see, um, you know, 
just pretty much been bearish ever since that. So at this point, I am looking for longs because you have to think with a supply and demand outlook, you always want to be buying at the opposite level. You know, you want to be buying longs here at this low because you finally have it coming down to a low and you want to be selling, you know, at these at these zones above. So that's one thing that I have completely changed from when I used to trade, you know, scalping is I would always look for continuations. I would already look for the move to be happening and trying to continue that. So like imagine this was on the 15 second, I would be looking for shorts because the sentiment is already bearish. I'm just trying to, you know, get a little bit of the bread, you know, like get a little bit of it, like pretty much just riding the momentum. Uh, whereas this, I'm trying to catch tops and bottoms to a point. Um, I'm not trying to fully, you know, catch reversals, but you want to be buying or selling the opposite of the current candle, uh, if that makes sense, you know, because you're looking for these bounces off these zones. And this still has an opportunity to work on the bigger time frames, but right now it actually looks pretty solid for a move up. And I, I think it's inevitable at this point just because we are so oversold. But with how bearish everything has been, you know, you do expect a continuation of that. Um, so I don't think this is going to be a huge pop up, but I definitely expect some buyers to step into the market now just because of how bearish we've been. Um, that's how it always works. You know, you want to be looking for the value in the money. If you see a big move like this to the downside, obviously the value is going to be in short or longs because of how beat down longs are getting. Um, but the problem is, again, waiting for confirmation, getting the setup you want and taking the good trade. Uh, this was another setup I took, which was bearish. Um, I, this was same day. This was the trade I took on my eval, um, kind of thinking that same exact concept of the break of a zone, retest of the zone continuation. I looked for a break of this zone to the downside, same exact zone, retest and a continuation. And that's exactly what we got. Um, I could have fully targeted 220 points, but um, market closed and I pretty much got off for 150 on the dot. So that was great. Um, so I love playing both sides of these zones. That's my number one thing is I'm able to play both sides regardless of the trend. And something like this, though, I will say is, you know, you have to make sure when I'm trading this way that the zones are in between each other. For example, when I took a trade off this zone right here, I targeted this zone. And if I, you know, let's say price was above here, you know, I don't really have anything to target. That's the problem. And so it's kind of, you kind of want to see some sort of consolidation out of the market. You don't want to see anything crazy like this, just breaking through zones. Um, and, you know, we, we tried our best with it, um, didn't work out. But now I think I'm down around 70 points in the week, which isn't anything crazy. Um, last week, I think I had an almost 400 point week. So, you know, I'm, I'm obviously doing okay right now, but I definitely want to see some, uh, you know, pacing up in my strategy. This is okay. This is part of building out a strategy is, you know, seeing some success, seeing some losses. How am I dealing with the losses? How are the trades coming through? What are the losses that I look like? Or what do the losses look like that I'm taking bad trades on? Um, for example, today we had a loss, but it really wasn't a bad loss in my mind. This obviously was one of my worst losses ever um, in the aspect of I shouldn't have taken a loss. But if you actually are looking at the reality of it, it was a good trade. I was on the right side. We just got at that point, you get unlucky, you know, catching such a small um, sweep like that. Um, so that's obviously a good loss. Um, the trade I took yesterday or, or today was a good loss. This trade, a um, little bit unfortunate. Um, I got into it right before market open and, you know, market opens up a lot of volume comes into the market and we just caught the wrong side. Um, so that's, that's the only bad thing about that, but the trades that I have taken all have been super good. I love the style. I love just being able to look for those bigger moves, catch those big trades and then, you know, set up my orders and just leave my setup. So, um, you know, it's going pretty good, man, but you know, obviously we're, we're dealing with the ups and downs of the strategy and I'm trying to perfect it. I'm trying to find my entries, um, to make them a little bit smaller. I'm trying to find the perfect thing to do, um, depending on how pre-market looks, how intraday looks, how everything, how the, the, the previous day looks, all these things. I'm just starting to get a little bit more conscious of and what to expect every single day when I'm trading this way. But Honestly, things are going pretty good, man. It's just, you know, obviously dealing with the ups and downs of building out a strategy. Maybe you're doing the same thing as I am right now, kind of tweaking some stuff. And it's okay, you know, just because I had a, I've had a red week so far doesn't mean that this doesn't work anymore. It's just, you just have to hypothesize what's going wrong. Why am I taking these losses? And if you really look at it, um, I would still be barely, I'd be up on the week pretty nicely if that first trade or if that second trade hit you know, where I would have hit TP. So I, it really just comes down to, um, I wouldn't say bad execution, but maybe just something out of my hands. And that's exactly what happened with that trade right here where I got freaking wicked out. Um, you know, we're just kind of, we're, we're just kind of playing with things, you know, closer we get to the election, all this stuff going on, um, price action, 
I think he's been pretty good, but we'll, we'll see how everything turns out. But honestly, I hope you guys are having a good day. Hopefully you guys are doing all right. Um, I'm, I'm okay. You know, it's Halloween, you know, I'm, my port is, is scared. <laughs> I guess that's the, the only thing I got to worry about. But, um, yeah, I just hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Be safe, man. And shit, just keep trading, bro. You're going to get it. You're going to get it. I promise. Be safe.